Good morning, good morning, and welcome back to the Kellogg's YouTube channel. So, for today's video, I want to share with you guys a show reel or compilation of my assignments from first year art school slash university of studying animation. I recently officially completed my first year, but I realised I haven't actually shared or talked about it much, so it's about time. Throughout the year, we got to do some pretty fun assignments. Some really, really fun, some not so fun. For example, we got to do storyboarding, script writing, um, 2D animation, 3D animation, character design. We had a pretty diverse range. The only problem I had was that because it was an animation degree, it wasn't very accommodating for watercolour work. So a lot of the work you'll probably see in the showreel is very, very cartoony or animation-y. But anyway, let's get started with semester one. For our very first graphic design class assignment, we had to create a movie poster of an existing film. We focused on design principles and elements like hierarchy, colour, balance and all that stuff. So it was a good introductory class into design and I ended up choosing to do The Wizard of Oz inspired by more minimalist, clean, simple designs. Now this one was my most hated assignment in the whole year, the Poe graphic novel. <laughs> we had to choose one of Edgar Allan Poe's stories and illustrate a scene from the story and we weren't allowed to include dialogue. I ended up choosing the wedding scene from The Spectacles in a somewhat cartoony style and I hated it, I hated it so much, so let's just move on. <laughs> For both semesters, the graphic design class that we had was my favourite. This was an illustrated graphic novel project, but very open choice. We had to create a graphic novel scene that revolved around any sound effect that we chose, the story could be anything, whatever, it just had to contain that specific sound effect. My one I chose was Sai, and I wanted to capture a moody story about a boy waiting for the bus in the pouring rain. And it was fun because I got to focus a lot on lighting and mood and colour, which I love playing with. Now this assignment was my favourite of the whole semester. It was a rotation studio class on 2D animation, which happened to be run by my graphic design teacher. She's the best. Um, yeah, so... Like, it, it was cool because it was what I had been waiting for the whole semester, I was looking forward to it. Animating. We had to make an animated loop that revolved around food. It could be anything, it just had to loop, had to involve food, and we had to make it in Adobe Flash. And I had never used Adobe Flash before or animated in my life, so it was really challenging to wrap my head around this assignment and complete it in just four classes. But because it was new to me, it was a challenge, and I love a challenge. I decided to capture this cheesy romantic scene between two children sharing a bowl of spaghetti. Kind of a tribute to Disney's iconic, you know, the, the spaghetti scene in The Lady in the Tramp. It took ages to learn how to use the program and how to achieve certain effects like wobbling and timing in general, but by the end of it, I was pretty happy. We did have some other assignments like a 2D animatic and a script assignment and an interactive media one too but I can't find those anymore. Sorry guys. At first, I was really excited about semester one because I thought that we'd hop in and straight away we'd do a lot of fun assignments and challenging things, like actually animating, but um, not, yeah, not so fun. <laughs> Second semester though was a complete different story. We actually got to animate, so we we're doing a lot of animating, we we're challenging ourselves, our assignments were a lot more open and diverse, and our topics were more interesting. It was, it was a lot more fun. So let's get started with semester two. <laughs> now tell me, where are the others? Eat me! First, the jelly bean assignment. Here we actually got our first taste of 3D animation using a program called Maya and it was an assignment where we had to create a short scene around two jelly bean characters interacting. It was more of an exercise to practice new tools and skills and tricks we just learnt like texturing, lighting, model rigging, movement and camera angles. We were also given the option of including audio from an excerpt 
film or whatever. So I ended up using um, the audio from the Shrek scene where the gingerbread man gets tortured by Lord Farquaad. For the second rotation of our studio class, we had the Google Doodle assignment. Simple, all we had to do was make up a non-existent Google day and design an animated Google Doodle loop for it. I wanted to do the Hayao Miyazaki day because I grew up in love with the Ghibli films and I thought it would be really fun. At first, I thought a simple short walk cycle of Totoro would be easy to do, but I was so wrong. I learned my lesson by the end of it to never underestimate walk cycles, especially if you've never properly learnt how to actually do them. By the end of it though, I was pretty proud of it overall, especially with the, the little leaf flopping above Totoro's head. For the final part of the semester's studio rotation class, we had to do a storyboard animatic that referenced some film techniques from a film that we found personally inspiring. I referenced Glenn Keane's duet short film wanting to mainly capture the fluid motion through his animation style, but also through the way he uses camera movement itself. Even the way he builds tempo in the storytelling itself was uh, amazing, and it was something that I wanted to achieve. I chose to do a story about a bird befriending a dog, where a gust of wind comes to separate them, and then they go on their individual journeys and obstacles to reunite again. So, this animated illustration assignment was by far one of the most difficult and longest assignments we had. We had to create an animated illustration about a fairy tale or fable using Adobe After Effects. The animation itself had to have depth by using the Z, plane or axis, and we had to make the assets or objects in the animation ourselves, which I did using Photoshop. I ended up doing a Southeast Asian inspired version of Little Red Riding Hood, mixing up a bit of Vietnamese and Japanese influences in the designs, which was pretty fun to do. But it might have just been me, I don't know, but I had a lot of difficulty with this assignment. Maybe because it was my first time using the program, but it was obvious because I was still figuring out even the most basic of tools near the end of it. Fun, maybe not so much, challenging, yes, but a good learning experience. Next up, another storyboarding assignment. <laughs> By the end of semester two, I am pretty sure we were doing three assignments all at once that required storyboarding. And for this one in particular, we had to illustrate a storyboard sequence that followed a very, very specific plotline, which was about a whole page long of text set by our teacher. My story ended up being a western inspired one with the dramatic showdown set in some far desert with canyons, ridges, pillars, you know, all that kind of stuff. And we also had to slightly render 12 of the storyboard panels, which you're seeing now. And also, for the record, the girl in the red shawl is the good guy, and the guy in the blue cape is the bad guy. We had script writing assignments for both our script classes in both semesters. So we had to write a short imaginative script in semester 1 and something like an infomercial script for a topic we were assigned in semester 2. We also did visual scripting which was basically imagining a story or script by connecting two visual images that we produced. And the final assignment was that we actually had to create an animatic for one of our chosen scripts but also the audio for it. My one was about 2D animation and... <laughs> Forgive the, just, yeah, just here you go. Hey you, kid, me, yeah, you. Are you sick and tired of plain old boring drawings that do nothing but sit still? Mm -hmm. Want to see your characters move and come to life? Mm -hmm. Well then, Tom, 2D animation is just the thing for you. Introducing the new and revolutionary art form of 2D animation. No longer see drawings as plain and lifeless anymore. Cool! Breathe life into your characters and see them come alive. Awesome! Create realms and worlds of your imagination that your characters can live in. Wow! The science behind it? Easy. To breathe 2D animation life into your characters for 10 seconds at a standard frame rate of 24 frames per second, all you need to do is draw 240 frames. Haha, <laughs> did someone say easy peasy? Because lemon's queasy. Ah <sighs> oh, well, I tried. 
To be fair though, I recorded that at 4 in the morning and it was meant to be cheesy. This last one was probably my favourite class and assignment of them all, logo design and branding identity. It was for our graphics design class again, where we had to create an imaginary brand for an imaginary product, and we had to create the relevant logo design, packaging, website, stationery, business cards, you know, all that stuff for it. We had to also physically make these packaging and stationery designs, so we had to print out the business cards, postcards, brochures, and even assemble the product packaging, like CD cases, which was so cool to see in person. I just, I just wish I'd taken photos of them before I submitted the folio. So that's all for my first year of animation. Thanks for watching guys, I hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you soon.